Yeah. And this will take us all the way to your state for the 60th birthday and retirement celebration for Mrs. Elizabeth Wangudu, who happens to be Anne's mother. Enjoy this one. Many call it the age of happiness. Others call it the retirement age. But whichever you choose to call it, attaining the age of 60, a true blessing from God. And that is the reason why family, friends and well-wishers have gathered at Our Lady of Assumption Catholic Cathedral, Ashugu, or your state, to celebrate with Mrs. Elizabeth Wilder. They will make the offering to the Lord as it shall be made. The offering of Judah and Jerusalem will then be welcomed by the Lord as in former days and in the years of old. This is the word of the Lord. The officiating priests appreciate God's unending blessings in the life of Mrs. Elizabeth Wilder. Only the soul for whom the Lord does great things can glorify and praise him, as it is said. Only that soul can call on those who share in the same desire and intent. Glorify the Lord with me. Together, let us praise his name. For a woman who has achieved so much in 60 years, it's definitely worth giving thanks to God and the celebrant, her children and well-wishers, dance forward in gratitude. That rounds up the church service. She's a very generous person and somebody who doesn't want to take the back seat when there's something good to do. All that her life has taught me is to be prayerful, to be faithful, and to have love for all human beings. She's a very happy person. She's someone that she finds the, the good part of every situation. So that's one thing I think I have learned from her. I don't even know where to start from because she's been my dad. She's been everything to me, especially after we lost my father. She's been a great friend. She's, I feel so comfortable telling her every, anything. She's just fantastic and I wish her all the best. I'm so happy. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of all her achievements. And um, she's still beautiful at 60. Amazing. Mrs. Mwawada is a big sister from another mother. We are close together. Her children and my children, they are all friends. Her four lovely daughters, I call them my princesses. She sponsored my marriage, and when I was to do baptism, I said, which name am I to pick? I said, okay, let me just pick the name after her, and I picked Elizabeth. The momentum swings into party mood with just the right colors to brighten the day. Guests enjoy good music. The celebrants led by her four beautiful daughters dance in happily.
From this birthday rendition, the students show that the celebrant is a lot more than a principal. It's now time for the celebrant to cut her birthday cake. And 60. A round of applause, please. <laughs> With that done, the celebrant and her lovely daughters hit the dance floor. Mrs. Elizabeth Ngozi Nwaldo was born on the 23rd of December 1956 to the family of late Mr. Zander Thomas and London businesswoman Lillian Ikediala. A native of Ngokpala in Imo State, Mrs. Nwaldo attended Township Primary School Oweri, then proceeded to a girls' secondary school. In 1975, she attended the teacher training college in Imo State. Her love for the physically challenged earned her scholarships from both the federal and Emo state government to study special education at Federal College of Education, Oyo State, in 1979, where she recorded outstanding performance as the best graduating student. She proceeded to the University of Nigeria in Suka, where she studied adult education and administration. Mrs. Mwaldo joined the Oyo State Civil Service in 1983 and served in many capacities across the various schools in Oyo State, including the famous Olivet Baptist High School. Today, she has attained the highest position in the teaching service as she retires as the first principal from the southeastern part of Nigeria to ever serve in Oyo State. She got married to her half-rob, Surveyor Bennett Nwaudu in December 1982 and they lived happily until his demise in 2004. She's blessed with four amazing daughters who she refers to as her fantastic four and three adorable grandchildren. As Mrs. Elizabeth Ngozi Nwaldo celebrates 60 years of God's faithfulness and a happy retirement, we wish her more beautiful years ahead in good health. Wow, congratulations to your mom. Yeah. You know, I could actually see that she enjoyed her day. She enjoyed every moment of it. But, and but how, do you know what? Just wait. Why what? is she finer than you? Did she just say that? Of course she is. Okay, I hear this every day, so I'm used to it. But you know my consolation. Well, because like, I know you to, have seen my mom. So and you know how I'm going to look when you get older. 60. Okay. Yes. Anyway, congratulations <laughs> to you, mother. I love you so very much. And to everyone celebrating, congratulations. That's how we end the show today. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Remember, continue this online. Go to channelcv.com. There you can find past editions of Metro Files, so just enjoy yourself into the new year. Catch us on our Twitter handles, those handles are right on your screen. And for that number blinking there, don't forget, call to find out details about Metro File. Until we see you, I am Anne Uwawadu. And I'm Ogich Kose. Also remember that this edition of Metro File repeats tomorrow at 12 noon, and yes, a fresh indeed. edition comes up on Sunday, 9.30 a.m. with a repeat broadcast on Wednesday, 11 p.m. Please do watch out for it. Thank you so much for watching, and, and see, see you, you in, in 2017. 2017. <laughs>